all-new WC7X hot dog temperature management controllers provide a significant leap in functionality and user experience. The aesthetics, touchscreen interface, communication features, data feedback, and versatility are all designed to benefit the clinician and patient. The WC7X controller has two model variants. The WC71 single port controller operates one blanket. It is primarily used in the pre-op or post-operative setting. The WC77 multi-port controller can power up to four blankets and one mattress. At first glance they look very similar with one blanket port in the front. The only visible difference is the color of the base. The multi-port WC77 has a green base, whereas the single port WC71 has a white base. The additional ports on the WC77 are found at the back. This helps with cable management. Both models are lightweight and extremely quiet. There are cable retention loops on the sides of the controllers to help consolidate excess cable. Each controller comes with a versatile IV pole clamp that is attached to the controller using a standard VESA 75mm by 75mm configuration. This standard mounting bracket allows the controller to easily be mounted to any compatible components, such as wall mounts or boom arms, if desired. The IV pole clamp also allows you to contain your whole wiring system by attaching an A110 storage rack, where you can conveniently store blankets when they're not in use. The storage rack is sold separately. A key feature of these new controllers is the touchscreen, which allows more information to be conveyed to the user and improves the user experience. Under user guides, there are four slideshows with helpful information about getting started, an overview of the technology, obtaining the best results, and hypothermia 101. These slideshows are a great way for new users to become familiar with operating the hot dog system. The slideshows are currently only available in English and can only be accessed when warming devices are not connected. In addition to the educational slideshows, the controllers provide detailed troubleshooting explanations. For example, if an error message were to appear on the screen, detailed information on how to resolve it is also displayed at the same time. This information can be viewed under troubleshooting. The end user can also access answers to frequently asked questions. A summary of citations for research studies related to patient warming can also be found on the controller. Information on cleaning the hot dog system is available in the cleaning guide. The positioning guide is organized by surgical position and displays suggestions for placement of different blankets in a variety of surgical positions. Many touchscreen settings are adjustable. The level of screen brightness can be set. The controller also automatically detects if it is a dark room or a light room and adjusts accordingly. The volume can be set to a level of your choosing. If the audible feedback feature is engaged, you hear a short noise every time you touch the screen. This controller also has an automatic shutoff feature that is preset to six hours of non-interaction. However, if your surgery requires a longer period of time, this too can be adjusted. There is also the option to display information on the screen in different languages. We currently have 15 different languages to choose from. The service section offers a built-in diagnostic test which eliminates the need for a separate test device to confirm proper function of the alarms. Troubleshooting information is also found in the service section. The bottom line is that everything about this controller was designed to improve the user experience and to help deliver the best clinical outcomes possible. Let's connect a mattress and a blanket to see how to control warming devices from the touchscreen. When a device is plugged in, the corresponding port letter icon will be illuminated. Touch this icon and then the red thermometer to increase the temperature setting. It will select the maximum temperature when first touched. Lower the temperature by touching the blue thermometer. If you have multiple devices connected, such as a mattress and several blankets, you can raise or lower the temperature of all of them at the same time simply using the icons on the right. All high, all medium, all low, or all off. The set temperature will flash until it has been reached. 
you will notice that the WC77 software now allows for a maximum mattress temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. This new setting allows for even more heat transfer from the mattress at a temperature that is still below the international standard. Hot dog patient warming technology allows for safe thermal transfer under the patient, but as always, consult the instructions for use to ensure proper precautions are followed. The WC7X controllers offer automatic control of warming device temperature settings based on the patient's core body temperature. This feature is only available when using the properly keyed cable and temperature probes. Safety requirements only allow auto mode to function if the patient's core temperature does not change by more than one degree Celsius within a one minute period of time and is within an established human temperature range. These important safety criteria ensure that auto mode is not used if the temperature probe is improperly positioned or not in the patient. If a temperature probe is connected, but not yet in range that will allow auto mode to function, the controller will display the temperature at the top of the screen next to the image of an hourglass. When auto mode is engaged, the patient's core temperature is shown at the top of the screen next to the letter T, as well as graphically displayed. The first temperature on the graph is shown one minute after engaging auto mode, with subsequent temperatures shown in five minute increments. There are several styles of graphs to choose from, including a filled-in line graph, a line graph, and a bar graph. The graph style can be selected in settings under temperature graph. This same temperature data can be outputted to the EMR using a standard cable. Prior to using auto mode, the desired normothermic range is pre-selected by the clinician. The top and bottom temperature in the normothermia zone must be at least one degree Celsius apart. As the patient's core temperature moves through this normothermia zone, when auto mode is engaged, the temperature settings on the warming devices are gradually turned down. When the top temperature in the normothermia zone has been reached, the controller will place the warming devices in standby mode. They will automatically turn on again if the patient's core temperature falls while in auto mode. To turn off auto mode, touch the auto mode icon at the top of the screen. If you have additional questions about the all new WC7X hot dog temperature management controllers, please visit our website at hotdogwarming.com or email us at info at augsurg.com.